From the air, opulence is on display. Two pools, perfectly manicured beaches lined with palm trees, surrounded by turquoise waters. Tourists snorkel here daily to check out the turtles near the now infamous island. Epstein used to fly out here, we're told, on his private chopper after flying into St. Thomas on his private jet. Doing well, how are you? I'm Stephanie Goss with NBC. It's not easy to get to. We had to hire a boat captain. When you move here to St. Thomas four years ago, how long did it take before people started talking about Jeffrey Epstein? Um, it was immediate. That was the, the first day I ever took this boat out. We had a, I had a training captain that I went out with, and that was just part of the tour. Boats can float right up to the edge of the island estate. Can I just talk to you for a second? Epstein's grounds workers are still on the job. Do you have a second to talk? But the ones we approached were not willing to talk. He convinced Stephen Scully knows the property well. He worked there for six years. When you first met Jeffrey Epstein, what were your impressions of him? Real smart guy. Unbelievably focused. Scully says he was told not to talk about what happened on the island. When you say you saw young girls, were they under 18, do you think? I, I have no way of knowing that, truly but they appeared to be young to me. Scully also told us there were photos of topless girls in buildings around the compound and says he quit his job after a conversation with one of Epstein's employees from Palm Beach. He said, what's with the young girls? And I said, oh yeah, I'm, I'm not real comfortable with the young girls thing too. Is that in West Palm Beach as well? He said, worse. Did you consider in that moment perhaps reaching out to law enforcement? No. When you look back on it now, do you wish that you had? Yeah. Epstein pleaded guilty to soliciting prostitution in Florida in 2008 as part of a controversial deal. In a civil case against the government about that deal, one accuser says she took part in an orgy on Epstein's private island in 2002 with approximately eight other young girls who appeared to be under the age of 18. According to government records, Epstein is registered as a sex offender in the Virgin Islands, but unlike in the U.S., where he had level three sex offender status, considered the most dangerous, in the Virgin Islands, he is classified as tier one, the least dangerous. It meant he had to check in with local authorities just once a year. Today, he sits in a jail cell, denied bail after pleading not guilty to sex trafficking charges. Some locals we spoke with say that's where he should be. Were people surprised out here when they heard about his arrest in New York? I don't know if surprised would be the right word. Maybe, maybe, maybe happy that it finally happened. Residents also tell us Epstein was looking to expand his estate on Great St. James, the island he bought in 2016. Beaches in the Virgin Island are public property, but Jeffrey Epstein has made it very clear that the rest of this island is not. He has been doing construction on Great St. James up until very, very recently. We're told that this white shed was built only a few months ago. The work being done right up until his arrest, bringing new attention to this tropical hideaway and raising new questions about what may have happened here.